Okay, let's see if we can figure out what this limit is. Now, we know this is true. We know that the limit is eight, x goes to 0 of sine x over x. We know that that's equal to 1. That's one of our celebrity limits. But now let's see if we can figure out what this limit is. And this is also going to be one of our celebrity limits. This is a limit we need to keep in mind. Well, what if, I, of course, if I put a 0 in, I get 1 minus 1 up top, which is 0 over 0. So let's do this. Let's think about what would happen if we multiplied the top and the bottom by the conjugate. Here we have 1 minus cosine. Let's multiply by 1 plus cosine. So we have 1 minus cosine x over x. And let's just multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate. 1 plus cosine x. Like that. Now when we do that, here's what we get. We get the limit as x goes to 0 of... 1 minus cosine squared x. See, if I multiply this top out, it's like a minus b times a plus b. We get a squared minus b squared. Well, that's what we have here, 1 squared minus cosine squared. And then down on the bottom, we, of course, have x times 1 plus cosine x. Like that. Okay, well, 1 minus cosine squared x is sine squared x. So let me, let me write that as sine squared x over x times 1 plus cosine x. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, now... I know, I'm going to see if I can utilize this limit right here, sine x over x. And I look down here, and I do have sine x over x, but I've got sine squared x over x. So let me, let me just do some uh, rearranging here. I've got the limit as x goes to 0 of sine x over x, okay, times the limit as x goes to 0, of sine x over 1 plus cosine x. Remember, this is one of our properties, that if we've got a product, the limit of a product, we can write that as a product of the limits. So I just made two limits out of this. I put sine over x, sine x over x, and then I still have one, you know, the, I still have a sine x over 1 plus cosine x. Now notice if I multiply these out, I get this back. But let's, let's evaluate these limits. Now this limit right here is 1. But this limit, notice if I put a 0 in here, I get a 0. If I put a 0 down here, I get 1 plus uh, 1, right? So I get 0 over 2, which is 0. So 1 times 0 is 0. So we figured out what this limit is right here. This limit, this is one of our celebrity limits. The limit as x goes to 0 of 1 minus cosine x over x is equal to 0.